Black and white cuff, wow. Black and white cuff was like, it played a significant part to people in many ways. There was somewhere to go, to meet together, to socialize. It was needed for the community, especially like, nowadays you see people in pubs. Right. There wasn't things like that for us. It was either in your own where people would set up their own front room and you could come in and you, you, you know one another, you could come in there, you play dominoes, you, you go in the cafe, it was the same. I'd come there with certain people and do that as well. Oh, I've never had this before. Right. Yo, Clive, can we go down? Where? And they're coming in for fry fish. Right. You, <laughs> you understand? <laughs> right, so yes. that's part of a culture. Some people go in there and sit and write. People write songs. People come there and they sit with young people and gain an understanding. Oh, I never know that. They leave there and their whole life changes. So you can't knock the black and white because the authorities gave it that. Black and white calf played a significant part in the growth and creating the sense of unity. You got people who, families, I know many black, black children and mixed race children, mixed heritage children who grew out of the community, you know, and it came a time they come down. That was where they could come right. and meet people. And some of them meet their own brothers, their half brothers, their half sisters. It was everything, you know. But obviously, it was given a bad name. But Black and White Calf, to me, was a place to socialize. It was like a youth center or a community center. Look around now. We're 2022. Look. <laughs> what is there now? There's nothing like it around. Black and white have kept a family who contributed greatly to this community, whatever, and brought people together. 